What's up everybody? It's your main man Lakeith Fowler right here in the place to be. So today I'm talking about lines of credit. Everybody want to know how to get it but don't know how to access it. So I'm going to describe what a line of credit is, how to get it, how to utilize it, and how to make the most out of it today on House Money with me. So sit back, relax, and watch this. So what is a line of credit? A line of credit is, a, is an amount of credit extended to a borrower that it could be anybody in need. Uh, a lock, you heard like LOC, a HELOC, means an arrangement or an agreement between the lender and the borrower where a loan is paid out as you need it. So just think of like a credit card, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you got $10,000 on a credit card, you use it as you need it, as you need that credit, as you need to access it. So, oh, I need to go to the mall. I need to, I need to buy me a sweater like Lakeith is wearing. So you want to do that. You want to go down, it's going to cost you about $700. So you swipe that card for $700. Now, interest secures over time on a credit card if you don't pay it off by the, by the payoff date doesn't do that on a line of credit. It occurs daily. Look at the interest on the per diem or whatever, and that'll tell you everything you need to know. But it's paid out as you need it. So you might have a line for a hundred grand, but you only need $10,000. You don't pay the whole hundred thousand. You just pay what you use as you need it. So it's like a stepping stone. So you can utilize it to use what you're trying to purchase or what you're trying to invest in as you go along. I got some other examples too of how this can help you. So a line of credit, and I know you probably heard this term before, even when building your credit, you have to attach certain lines of credit. This is a revolving line of credit with a preset borrowing amount. So you get a line of credit. They give you $10,000. Let's say it's at 10% interest rate. You use it. 10% interest rate over a 30 day time span might be an equivalent of $200 or something like that. Uh, not a lot, but look at what you got. You got 10,000 for a, a period of time and was able to do whatever it is that you needed to do, like a payday loan, but you paying yourself payday loan, you can pay it through your home and you can have these lines relatively available as soon as you need them. Like a credit card, you go in your wallet, you need to buy that sweater, you need to buy that hat, you're going to get that immediately. So you can do that too with a bigger object, with a bankable object, with a bankable asset, a home. And I'll talk about that uh, in this video today as I discussed last video about a refinance, this is another uh, a term for a refinance, another way you can utilize what's in your home to live off of and to go to another level. So this is what I'm really trying to get y'all to understand, the power in an asset. Like, it's like it, the asset has your own back. You know, it's kind of hard for you to find somebody to give you something in your time of need. So imagine when you are, aren't as needy, you create something, you create an asset. And, and that asset grows in value. Now you have something that has your back, but you did it once, but you're gonna make money off of it for the rest of your life. And you can access bits and pieces of that asset through lines of credit. An example, something like this with a credit card. One week you might need $2,500. The next week you might need $5,000. The third week, you might need another $2,500. Now that's all you have, $10,000 for that pay period until you pay that line of credit back. But if you don't pay that back, and you pay whatever your interest is and you pay it daily um, until you pay that loan off. It is a loan. It is a line of credit. You can access it through your credit. Hopefully you're in a good credit score, good credit matrix, you get a good interest rate or you can do it through your home, called a HELOC. It's a pretty good time to get into a HELOC if you have equity in your property, you could take advantage of a lot. A lot of people don't understand this. They have homes and don't think their home can appreciate or appraise for a certain dollar amount. You should get an appraisal on it because if you can utilize the bank's money to make your money grow, to make your situation better, why would you not? But you gotta get the information. And that's what I'm here for, to give you useful information because I use it and, I, and it's working for me, so I don't know why it wouldn't work for you. But come on, check this out. So an example of a home equity line of credit or a HELOC. Let's say I got a house, current value is 300,000. My payoff, because I, I buy houses and land, so I'm gonna pay the cheapest 
and get the best price. That's just the nature of the business. That's that's why I do what I do, because I want to get the best product for the best price. That's why I do. That's why I attach these skill sets to myself and use them. And now I want to give them to you so you can see them work for yourself, not just for somebody else. So with the current value of the house at three hundred thousand and the payoff at one hundred and fifty thousand, I could go get a HELOC for one hundred and fifty thousand and I have one hundred and fifty thousand dollars to use to do whatever I need to do with that property. Now, you may not think that, but you have these assets and if you're not utilizing them to their full power, then you're the one losing. So you got to understand how to play the game at a high level because it's going to benefit you. The more skill sets that you adapt to yourself, the higher you can go. So I'm just here to serve as a reference for information that's already out there, but just showing you a real person that utilizes this in real estate and you can too. That's all I'm here for. So Lakeith, that's me, Lakeith. I buy houses and land and I give out a lot of useful information. I'm a real investor that's utilizing this in real life experiences. So if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I do not know what it is that you're waiting for. Uh, be sure to follow me on all social media platforms um, and stay chimed in. Click the link below and let's go. Lakeith, that's me. I buy houses and land. Thank you. Thank you.